Hello everyone, I'm the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to Heart of Iron 4 and to the A Thousand Week Reich, where today we're going to be playing in the Balkans, as we're going to be playing as the Kingdom of Hungary, as we seek to further make gains, specifically against Romania, but we'll see what else we can get up to. I don't think it's a whole lot, it's hopefully going to be a shorter video today. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Let's jump into it. I hope there has been a bloodbath in Budapest, which is not good at all. So there's an emergency cabinet meeting being held to discuss matters relating to the recent violence. So we complete the focus steady as she goes, which finally enables us to do something with this little focus tree. So let's go ahead and launch the investigations. Just before we get too far into the game, I'm just going to point out the national spirits that we currently have. We have the Hungarian stagnation, which is just not good. Uh, German economic influence, which is also not good. The Volksbund der Duchen in Ungum is also oh, the People's Federation of Germans in Hungary. That's not good at all either. Anti-German military, not good. Refugee crisis, not good in terms of stability. And the paramil parliamentary influence is rising. So I don't know how we deal with all of these, but hopefully they will be dealt with at some point. Um, Zoltan Germany seeks to return from Germany. Um, yeah, you can you can just stay out, thank you. We're not letting you in at all. National Socialism has no place in Hungary. So it would appear our investigation has concluded into the matters of the, uh, the Budapest uh, incident. Um, yeah, basically the Germans were involved in equipping the agitators and supporting them, so we're going to go ahead and let the world know, because radical influence decreases drastically. So yes, we have denounced German agents. I'm just thinking, I don't know how far we have to get into Romania to force a peace deal. But like, Budapest isn't that far. If we're able to supply in here, we might be able to get a wee group of guys and just push through and take Budapest. If not, hopefully we can push through and cut off a pocket here. Ideally, we don't want to lose this, well, North Transylvania and this province here because it's mountainous terrain. Okay, so we've had some meetings with the High Command, who currently have a firm anti-German command. Um, together for stability or tell military to stay out of politics. Um, we are going to do together for stability. Alright, okay, so we have a choice here. We can limit, let the committee handle it and determine the future of the vacant throne, or we can just completely abandon the whole thought of getting a king. But no, let's discuss... Let's have a wee discussion on that. I'm going to go ahead and grab that military factory because it unlocks the economy tree. Doing this focus as well. Which... Oh, okay. Hello. Uh, so we have... An Italian king, a Habsburg... After the region, the kingdom would be abolished. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to go for the Habsburg. I'm not putting an Italian on the throne. No, no, no. Conservatism. Or paternalocracy. Uh, no, let's go to Habsburg. That just seems like the right choice. We do have a small ability to contact the US, so we're going to request support from them. Hopefully they will accept. And Washington has accepted. Happy days. Well, um, Mr. Mustache Man's dead in Germany, so war is around the corner. Romania's looking a lot better than I am. Uh, yeah, so the revolts in the colonies for Germany will start to kick off, so our war is approaching. Oh yeah, Romania has attacked us. Thank you. 
Oh my days, I can't believe we pulled that back. We actually killed 67k more than they did of our troops, nice. Um, perfect. Hungarian victory, thank you very much for uh, the rest of Transylvania. Um, take it that opens up. Horford's regime was successful, that should bypass soon then, I'd like to think. Did that just say the Romanian president got assassinated, or Prime Minister got assassinated? That's uh Quite uh, tragic, actually. Oh, civil war time in Romania. Nice. Uh, you, 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 en you enjoy that. Horthy's triumph. A soldier of Miklas Horthy. Look at that. Well done. The Grand Admiral has done his bit. He's. Oh, there's a political shift happening. Okay. Cool. I'm expecting Horthy to put his resignation in any second now. So sadly. Miklas Horthy, he, he's getting old, he is getting old, what age is he even at this point? He must be in his 50s, 60s, maybe even older than that. Uh, but he's resigned, stepping down from the position of regent. His uh, son, Miklas Horthy, is, oh not Miklas Horthy, Istvan Horthy, is taking the reins. Otto's return, arriving at airport near the outskirts of Budapest, Otto II. Stepped out of his aircraft, greeted by thousands of onlookers and the cabinet. So we begin the event Otto II of Hungary, and we now become known as the Kingdom of Hungary, even though that's what we're known as. There he is. Nice tash he's got there. Here he is. Otto, Franz Joseph, Otto, Robert Maria, Anton, Karl Max, Heinrich, Sixtus, Xavier Felix, Renatus Ludwig, Gaetan, Pius... Ignatius von Habsburg. What the hell is that? That is such a long name, but we get 10 stability from him, so you can you can stick around. Oh, we're also becoming an authoritarian system rather than a dictatorship. Alright, okay. That, our mobilization speed goes down. We lose more group of population. We gain some stability loss and political power loss is the same, so it's not actually that bad dropping down to that. So, Slovak representatives have got it as day. They propose a deal, promising they will give up their claims for southern Slovakia, which we have, with limited results attempted at Hungarian eyes. However, German pressure somewhat kept us from deporting all of them. In exchange for... Oh, right, okay, they're wanting their land back. So, I so don't guarantee no involvement in rights of it. Ja, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to say, foolish northerners, you're not getting your land back. I could crush you. Ah, perfect. Otto and Horthy are united in their goal, so that gives us some more stability. I'm happy to hear that. Okay, Marcus Charter. So they're wanting to go democratic by the looks of things, from my brief little scan over that. So yes, um, I should have pointed out, it was happening whilst we were at war, but uh, the German United Front... Von Ribbentrop is, is leading Germany. What? And Hans Spiedel, they're united against the Toronto Accord who invaded. So, yeah, it's, they seem to be doing very well so far. Um, Otto's wish. Horthy was summoned to the Royal Palace, invited by the King to hold a secret meeting regarding the current Constitutional Convention. Oh, no. Horthy shall obey or the Hasburg horthy dispute. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want this. Oh, it, it might be wholesome. A wholesome democracy. Yes, Horthy shall be. We'll go democratic, even though I said I, I wasn't going to do that. The King's Blessings. Um, no, Horthy's going to run. 
No, no, no. Horthy shall run, and he's going to win. Democratization affirms. That's it. We're, be we're becoming a democracy. Now, that would be a challenging game. Who would like to see me play as People's Germany? I think that could be interesting to see, but I th I th probably get absolutely curb stomped. Oh my days. I did not... I did not realise that was a thing. I didn't even realise the state of Japan was... was fighting. But the Toronto Corps invasion has been defeated. Germany actually won. Oh no. I, I take it that means civil wars, yep. <laughs> I love that. Th thanks for uh, thanks for helping us push back the Toronto Accord, but uh, yeah, we're just we're just gonna restart the civil war now. Is that good with you? Yeah, let's do it. Fantastic. The end of the convention is here. Hungary shall now draft a new constitution. Stability is almost at a hundred percent. It will be after this next focus, actually. Fantastic. Looks like we're changing to established democracy very soon, which eh, it's got good and bad to it. Which which part is which part is um Horthy's? Um The NEP victory for the NEP. Against new democracy. Pretend autocracy. Yep. Yeah. Horthy is sticking around. Victory for the NEP. And let's go ahead and do matters of state. I want to see what our expansionism options are. Hopefully take out Slovakia and the rest of Romania. That would be nice. Ah, yes, we are dreaming big and we're learning from Uncle Sam. Factory output plus 15%. Happy days. I'm not too keen on the consumer goods, but hey ho. Hello there, Banat. Time for you to die. Yeah, we'll just cancel out their last stand by doing an attack. They're trying their best to hold. Oh, okay. So we've got the Kazakh military Okrug fighting the Perm Soviet government, who has managed to pop up some more divisions by the looks of things. And now we've got a showdown between these two. So Russia's just an absolute mess. Oh, the end is the end is near for uh, Banat now. Just get that bonus. There we go. And they've been completely dealt with. The SS are no longer Banat. Happy days. Right, we we don't actually get a war goal on uh, Slovakia, but we do get the ability to core their territory. So, I am going to go ahead and declare... Oh wait, I like in the States. Diplomatic, does that mean we're in a Toronto? Oh, just an aggression with the Americans. Great, so they'll just bin that in a couple of weeks' time. But uh, as I was saying, uh, I'm just going to use a low Diplo to just declare war in Slovakia and take them out, since I can core their land. It makes for an interesting border with Germany, who potentially could invade me. There we go. Slovakia... Should be easy enough to take down. They actually do have the potential to invade us. See, when they did the proposal, they could have sent us an ultimatum instead. I don't think they've got many divisions. Two to ten. And they're all cut off from Bratislava. Yeah, thank, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much, Lee. Cool, we're making a new city. Much like the Detroit from the leader's memories, Hungary needs an industrial city. Expand industrial town. Uh, interesting. Designate industrial zones. Add two victory points, two bullet slots. Again, where where is this city? Oh, it's here. Okay, so you're going to get turned into an absolute powerhouse by the looks of things. Uh, Switzerland. There's a compromise being made between the Swiss and the Germans, and of course the Germans are getting them to organise their Nazi assets. I wonder what they're hiding for them. Possibly gold? The Germans have expanded a little bit. The United Central Council is here. And Heydrich has rejoined the Germans as a puppet. What are the French up to? Oh, French Republic has a war goal on you. Research speed minus 40. The surrender limit's nice, and the max factories in state plus 50 is great, but the research speed is terrible. Oh my days, you're not going to be researching anything. Well, Transylvania is now all cores, which is ideal. Sadly, didn't give us any more factories than what we already had. Oh, who's Germany going after? Yeah, that, that seems about right. That's just... Poor National Republic. They've been absolutely destroyed. Ser Serbia? Uh, excuse me? Very, very bizarre, but I'll take a Serbian puppet. Oh, Poland's going now. Oh, we're going to have... Oh, and Slovenia. Oh, we're going to have a nice border with Germany. Well, thanks for joining us, Serbia. Uh, that's what you get for trying to take us down. Um, let's go oh on our border with Germany. Um, yeah, let's let's just get on the German border, as we're probably going to die very, very soon. It was, it was a good run. Nice, we're going to have a recovered economy by the end of the year, which is fantastic. And with that done, 
we can now do compensation for fellow veterans. Oh god. Eh. Right. Uh, this is a this is a little bit of a dilemma. Not going to lie. Where is a ribbon drops tree again? The European Confederation. And alliance with members of it. Okay, so I think yeah, they're actually known as European Confederation. Oh god, that's so cursed. Um Europe is ready for the next step. I I I, I am going to join it in hopes that uh, Germany doesn't invade me. That that is really why I'm joining this. Um Yep, European Confederation member. Extra trade to Overlord 100 percent Oh fuck Jesus! Oh it is, the UK has woken up and is actually doing anything after the disastrous loss against Germany. Oh my days, fanatic German defence. Oh well, great America, you're going to be a whole fat load of use against them aren't you? Oh Germany's further expanding, I'm hoping we're going to be able to keep them aside with being in the European Confederation. Really hope so. Actually, the oh no, one of the options for them on the focus tree is eventually inviting people who joined that to their faction. So hopefully... I don't really want to join the Germans. Oh, because the European Confederation is a faction now. Oh dear, just noticed who's in the faction. Romania! Who's now a puppet of Germany. Nice. Well, at least they can't declare war on me. It's just going to be de Germany declare war on me. That, that means I'm absolutely surrounded though. Oh my days. Oh nice, air transport equipment's got plus 10 agility and plus 15 agility. Long live Hungary. It's Van Horfey used optimism as Hungary's motto promise and not only would Hungary enter the 21st century stronger than ever, the 21st century will start with Hungary. Hell yeah. We are in a good position. What advanced thingies is that unlocked? Serbia SR- Oh! It's a socialist republic. Ah. G great. Um, I, I wish I could release them. That, that would be nice. Um, it's just really the refugee crisis we've got to deal with. Uh, it's just chilling and seeing what Germany does in regards to the whole... Oh, I'm just waiting for them to end up with war with me. Because, um... So they've known as that. Showcase German... That came up as an event, actually. I'm not going to do minimal shelter. I'm actually going to uh, utilise the refugees as workers. I'm annoyed I'm not able to actually, um release Serbia as a puppet. That would be quite nice because I don't want them... <laughs> like, my border looks hideous. Well, everybody, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and leave that episode there. Um, we've kind of done everything I want to do. We can still core some territory. Uh, we've got the 600 PP to save up to do that. Uh, we could kick off our nuclear research. We could also build some defense fortifications. Um, I think we're in a relatively stable position. Our economy has recovered. We still have German kind of influence in the nation, but that's not terrible. Um, we've adopted an American system. We've created an, our own airline. Uh, we've joined the European Confederation. Um, Germany's little, well, it's a faction, but also kind of economic thing. Um, there's not really any more room for expansion from us. Whether in a war with the Mediterranean Pact or with the European Federation, and I don't really want to do either. So I think Hungary's plan going forward is to just chill and prosper without pissing off any of their neighbours, because doing so would mean ultimate doom. We could probably bet Romania would eventually want their land back and there'd be another conflict over that, so we're probably doomed. But uh, for the time being, Hungary's good, and we have good old auto as well. So it's been a very good episode. I have thoroughly enjoyed playing as Hungry. Who would have thought it? Considering after the first, what, 30 minutes um, of recording, I thought we were dead and I was going to have to restart. So we done good, all things considered. So thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I shall be back very, very soon for another episode. Until then, do take care. Cheer bye, then now.